What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to another episode of the Adventures of Bearded Kitty. Uh, in this episode, it is mostly going to be concentrating on moving into the new office, as you can probably tell, but behind me, the, the background is completely different. If there's a bit of an echo, I apologize, I will be hopefully getting some soundproofing soon. And uh, behind me, we are going to be building a shelf area. Um, this used to be where the old window is. The lighting isn't the best right now, like, you know, I look really white right now. It's because the, the window is now, like, right in front of me here. Um, this is where the old window was, and we're going to be putting in some shelves. I can put in, probably putting up some figure figurines and maybe a few other random stuff. Uh, I'll probably be putting up picture frames behind me too. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit here, but, um, that is a big... Uh, wardrobe that is going to be going out of here. There's going to be lots of room kind of behind me here and in front of me over here. Uh, in front, which is the other corner of the room, I'm probably going to be putting uh, some lighting if I get to that. I have a completely different desk now. It's solid, like it shakes a tiny bit, but it, like I really have to hit it to, in order to do so. But it's sturdy. Uh, it's nice and smooth and flat, uh, won't be hard on my arms. I'm actually kind of wondering, I might not even need the, the mat. Too late to start now. I'll say thank you for allowing me to move in here and helping with everything and I know I've been pushing you a lot but it was just because I guess I really wanted to get out of that room. <laughs> and I get a new room out of it so yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Nani? It's smooth but it has a weird taste to it. It's scotch. <laughs> Alright guys well the addition to the house is almost complete uh we got the painting done uh we got the floor on it's not quite the same but it's it's unless you really look at it it's hard to tell um of course there's some seams that need to be touched up flooring's done walls are done uh just need to add the trim along like the bottoms and the I don't think the top, but like around the windows and the door frames. Then there's also, there's got to be a deck built outside right here. Other than that, I think we just have to finish off the inside of this. Take off that wall maybe. Or the, the shingles, because that used to be the outside. And a ceiling. Then I think that's it. Right now, the small stuff doesn't necessarily need to be done quite yet. Um, we don't have to have it inspected for another year, a little bit less than a year now. Um, so we're just gonna do what we can and so that it's like livable. And hopefully within a week from this video or maybe a little bit more time, depend it all depends on that delivery. As soon as that delivery comes, he starts on the deck and um, he needs something else from the delivery, I can't remember what. Oh, I think it was wood or something? Because he needs it for the window so he can put in there. And it's like, um, we're gonna move his stuff into the new room and then cut out a hole for the window, install the window, and uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, something was stuck in the back of my throat. Right now we're having a bit of an issue with our garbage. You can probably tell that the two gray bins are empty so he definitely took the garbage but that green bin when they empty the compost usually they put it back and the lid is open the lid is closed and i actually watched him when he came and he didn't take it and i looked down the road and there are others that he didn't take as well um apparently there's something going on between the garbage uh services and the county apparently 
they're like the apparently the garbage service um uh, they're asking for a bigger pay and the county saying no because it's under a set contract and there's no negotiating and so now they're kind of the the service the waste disposal service they're now protesting by apparently stealing the green bins as well because they think they own it but it was actually provided by the county for the residences in the county to use there's this huge mess that is being caused not only physically but i guess politically as well i don't really know if that's really politics but it's just it's stupid and i hope it gets fixed soon because i don't want compost collecting outside the other thing that I'll briefly mention is uh, next week's vlog will feature me going to the Warpart Rally. Not really sure what I'm going to do there. Just kind of going to see the event, I guess, and uh, capture a few things here and there. And I think there's going to be a fireworks show afterwards as well. I'll try to really capture that one. Um, unlike the Digby Scallop Days one. Unlike the Scallop Festival uh, vlog, I actually forgot the fireworks in the, at the end of the video. Yeah, the, re the renovations are coming along well. I'm, I'm in the office now, like there's still small things that need to be done, like there's the shelf, there's the trim on the window, um, there's like moving that thing out, there's small things. Um, but like there's a deck being built out back, uh, the painting's pretty well done. It's just, uh, like, again, trim. There's hooking up the uh, dryer properly. And then there's, uh, we had a bit of a flooring issue where the floor was actually rotting where the doorway used to be. So it was, you'd step on it, it would kind of go down a bit. Um, we reinforced that, but now where the, like, this is the old house, this is the new part. And they're not level. The new part is actually, what is it the new part? No, the old part, I think, is elevated a little bit. So we have to uh, fix that. And of course, the only other issue that I will be having when I record is if I have the window open, when motorcycles and trucks go by, it can be get really loud. And muscle cars, too. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode of The Adventures of Bearded Kitty. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. And as always, guys, bye for meow. God, I hate this freaking cat.